Hey guys, sorry that there was a little bit of a break there of a week. Um, it uh, will kind of make sense if you watch this video here. So tomorrow, I get to go to the hospital and have stuff taken out. Yes. Long story, and I'll try to sum up. Um, no, I won't try to sum up. I'll be very direct. So apparently, three to four years ago, my gallbladder, which those of you that don't know what a gallbladder is should really look it up, um, apparently my gallbladder died. It actually shut down and was done. Um... And, um, I didn't think anything of it because I didn't know that it did that. It probably it hurt. Um, it hurts a lot. Um, but it didn't really bother me that much. But apparently it should have. And apparently it does bother people. Um, but it didn't. So, fast forward to a few weeks ago. I had a problem where my pancreas... Uh, was shutting off because it couldn't get stuff through a duct that it shares with the gallbladder because the gallbladder was just but literally but um, so uh, that led to tomorrow so tomorrow I get to go in bright and early with mama watching and they're gonna cut me and go in and take it out there's some challenges because it's been in there for so long not doing anything. It is, I, so I'm told, my body will have either built a wall around it, which is kind of cool, it's like Legos, or um, it leached onto another organ and kind of hung out, which is kind of gross. So, tomorrow will be very interesting, um, and we'll find out what happens. So, um, that's the start of what you're about to see. It's a big day. We're going in. Get the uh, and the blah, blah, blah. yeah. So gallbladder, and they're gonna drop a t camera down my throat and look around in the stomach and take some samples of goodness, because everyone wants a piece of me. Yeah. How's it going? Going on. Okay. She's so excited. Look, I got jewelry. Took away my jewelry. I get new jewelry. So, I'm going in that room over there, the hospital's pretty plain. It's actually very quiet, almost like death. Do you think that's funny? No. You don't think that's funny? I don't think that's oh, funny. I thought it was funny. But that down there, well, we'll see if we can get better shots later. That is the healing park. That's its official name. I have yet to be healed in that park, ever. And I've been in that park. I tried to walk through that park purposefully. It has no healing powers at all. Don't trust it. I thought it was a meditation park, actually. No, no, it's healing. If you look at the name, it's healing park. Okay. It does not heal. It's actually on a really weird slope, so it's like almost a tripping park. Here's the uh, cool room. Check it out. Then I have to put my clothes in this bag. Here, show me. They heat these. These plug into heaters that heat your clothes. It's pretty wicked. So, an electric blanket ah, for your body. Right you plug this cord in and it heats itself. Uh, That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen heating clothes. Luckily, I don't need heat. I don't I think to, they let you keep them. How you dress now? <laughs> this thing's like a giant purple sack. I'm like Barney threw up. <laughs> I like how you get to keep your hat on. I have to keep my hat on until they take it out of my dead hand. <laughs> so, we just got all the computer check-in and then paperwork done, so now comes the IV and we probably won't be able to film much after that. So, here's your last look from socks, through tights, through lovely purple gown, to... You ready? Sure. We're going to IV me up. Yeah, yeah, I beat you up. I'm not gonna take the camera with me and leave it on film. <laughs> you are not. I'm gonna put it underneath here so he cuts off his. Whoa! 
So when they they said, did you have any electronics devices in your body? I could put that in my body, but I don't think the picture would be very good. All right, say goodbye to your fans and loved ones. We'll see. And your haters. Yeah, you got a few haters out there. Is that what they call them? Haters? Haters. They're probably enjoying this right now. Mm. Yeah. They're saying, that guy's fat. Yeah, oh shit. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> so they're apparently going to put this inside. <laughs> or it's the remote. Pretty weird looking remote though. Check it out. It's like a big lap pedal. Huh? That's a good time right there. Yeah, she had a little a little difficulty little. finding <laughs> finding a good hole. Apparently he has a valve in his hand that makes it. It says blow to wake up. It does not. It says here I'm here, I gotta get it to Pick focus. Well, it says slow <laughs> to wake up. Right. You really um, need to get your glasses. Oh, there You're not wearing the hat. Your anesthetist is taking that hat off. It's all through there. And then it'll be left on the floor of the surgery room and swept up and thrown away. They would never do that. They would. These are collector's items. <laughs> you too can have one in 1995. <laughs> Now the aliens are attacking? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> what? Why are you looking at my face? <laughs> Ooh, that was weird. If you wonder what you do before surgery, this is it. That's beautiful. It's got the nice little purple flares that matches your gown. How cute. <laughs> and we're off. It just took the little room, the room a little time to set up, so I popped that. You go way through there. But now this is all about you. That's like an enthusiasm, brother. just came out and talked to me and uh, our boy Dan star student as always everything went just fine and no problems so uh, they might keep him overnight just to check his breathing to make sure he's okay but other than that he's fabulous and uh, like it was a surprise I <laughs> think he's always good <laughs> um, no I was a little worried but you know everything's good now so I'm stuck here in the waiting room until he wakes up. And then he's probably not going to be very happy or nice or... Wait, he'll be back to normal. Then he'll be back to normal. <laughs> and he won't have a grumpy gallbladder anymore, so... One less grumpy thing for Dan. <laughs> Hi. Oh, look. His slit in his eyeball is open. Just got out of one recovery into the little... Another recovery, apparently. How do you feel? Shit. Mm, that's what we thought. Mm. You've just been uh, opened up a little bit, blown up like balloon, and had some parts taken out, so we assume you feel that way. Anything mm. else for our friends? Mm, it hurts a little bit. A little bit? Just a little bit. Yeah. <coughs> My throat hurts. Yeah, they had tube shoved down it. Yeah, it's a good time. <laughs> we are now discussing Dan's endoscopy. Yeah, they had a little extra dealy where they checked his stomach too. So that's his esophagus. <laughs> and there's his stomach. And that's either entering or exiting his esophagus. And I don't know what that is. Apparently, they're beautiful, according to the staff. The mad cow disease there. <laughs> Except for the mad problem. cow disease down there. Uh -huh. We're having fun in the surgery unit. We're going to the pharmacy to get his prescription. Mm. 
suck these pictures up, people. It's one of the few times she's driving a car. Um, anyway, I'm going to get my pain prescription so that I don't feel the ice pick anymore. Not that it's that big a deal. It doesn't really hurt that much, but I could see how this would bother a normal person. Um, anyway, the only thing that, that problem I have right now is I'm my throat. And I'm really wobbly, like a weeble wobble. It's the next day. Um, we're home. I think the thing that hurts the most is the one hole that they took it out, they called it out of. My throat hurts because they did a camera dumb to look at my stomach. So I would kind of discount that as a different thing. But the one bigger hole, which you'll see, um, hurts. Eh, it just is kind of a sort of pain. The others don't really hurt. Um, the things that really hurt are the things that they did to try to mitigate um, uh, blood clots. And so I had these big compression cuffs on my calves, and that really hurts all morning, all last night. And my neck, so my neck is killing me. And I can only guess that it was anesthesiologist trying to get me to breathe right, so they had to bend my head back way far. I'm chalking it up to that. Um, also, since they pump you full of air, yeah, you guys should look up how this works. They pump your body up, your cavity up with air, or a gas. They pump it up so it's really big and bloated, like a Nurgle. Look it up. Um, so, <laughs> when they do that, they try to get a lot of it out at the end, but some of it stays in your body and it apparently goes up your body yeah, it sits in your shoulders, so part of this could be that too. So, the surgery room, the most white thing I've ever seen was that room was so white, everything was white, 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 white. And like super high tech, like a spaceship. It was pretty impressive. I mean, I've been in surgeries before, but that was crazy. It was like a mad, mad spaceship, space shuttle, and everything was stark white, everything was white. It was really wicked. Um, so, um, but as soon as they put me down on the table, the uh, anesthesiologist said, are you ready to go? And I said, yeah, and that was it. That's all, uh, that's it. I am going to show you the holes. Not exactly, but you'll see the holes. So, if you people out there, again, oh, you're so fat. Yeah, thanks. Now you're going to see it full on, so get ready, haters. Um, I'm just going to show you the holes because people are... People want to know this stuff that are going to get this done. I would love to have known where they're going to put the holes because they're not exactly where I thought. So this was a lapro koloski moabana moon. Laparoscopic. It was like a 26 character word. Um, so they, they drilled three holes and then they drilled one big hole into my stomach area, body, and they like did things with probes from alien devices and stuff. So, um, so I'm going to try to show you just that area. And everyone that doesn't like fat, I'm tough. If you want to see this, fine. If you don't, move along. My understanding is the gallbladder was somewhere in here. So they went in here, here, and here. Did stuff. And then here, the big one, right near my belly button, or belly hole. What was that? Belly hole. <laughs> so, yes. So this is where they took it out of, as I'm told. And that's why this one hurts more than these three. These three are like just normal. This one hurts a lot. That's when they took it out. So, um, but there you go. Those people getting it, it's not that bad. The, the weight is worse and the drugs are worse. A lot worse. I think the drugs are worse part. Um, and then whatever they did to my neck. We'll see how the next couple of days go because I'm not supposed to do anything for the next week, but I'm probably going to go to work tomorrow. No. Nope. So, no. Nope. So, no. Nope. We'll see how the drive goes. No. Nope. And how I escaped the house. No. I haven't escaped, but... No.